<clears throat> Hi, welcome back to another video tutorial from Vape Trainer. That's me. <laughs> uh, tonight I'm going to do a product review on vaping donuts by Fat Daddy Vapes. Uh, last video we talked about the micro puck and the ease of use. Tonight we're going to talk about the vaping donut and how it is a coil replacement, I guess you would call it. Um, I do like it. I would really like to, I can't wait for the second version or the next batch to see some improvements, but overall I'm going to talk about this and how and how great it is. So um, right off the bat, you know, you can kind of take a look at it and see that it's uh, it comes in a, a clear and black plastic case. It's got a label across the front and sides. Uh, there is a disclaimer right here that's for 30 amp ba battery use only. Um, this from what I understand was the low resistant uh, unicorn. There was a few of them uh, put out there uh, with uh, the 0.4 resistance, uh, which is what I picked up. On this side, there is a, a blank um, spot for the ohm range. Um, now it is blank, so I, I had to kind of do my research and figure out what I was working with. Uh, tested a couple of them and uh, learned that it is a 0.4 coil, so a little bit cooler than what I'm used to. Uh, still, nonetheless, it vapes pretty well, especially on a fully charged battery. So this package does come with uh, six donuts. Uh, there's four left, and they have a, um, a sleeve, a plastic sleeve that goes over the leads to kind of protect them, so that's nice. Um, and like I said, I, I did build a dual coil on my Zenith Double Cross. Uh, which was provided by uh, Vapor Galleria, and I'm going to do a review on this very soon as well. Uh, and I got it on the, the Cronus, number uh, 479. So let's take a quick vape off of this, and we'll get the review started. Nice vapor production. Let's get going. So I have the vaping donuts, and um, like I said, it comes with a pack of six. Um, I have a dual coil, like I was talking about here, of the vaping donuts. You can see I've used it quite a bit. Um, there is some black that has been built up around the ceramic. I'm going to talk about uh, how to clean that off later on in the video. Um, but this is what it kind of looks like, and I'm actually I'm using cotton for the wicking material. But overall, um, you have a ceramic disc, and what appears to be some resistant and non-resistant wires that have been soldered together or tacked together uh, to keep the resistance in check. Um, these sleeves are removable, so you just pull them straight off. And what you're actually going to do is you're going to take these leads and you're going to line them straight into the holes on your terminal. Get it set to the depth or the length away from the post that you want it, kind of like that. Slide it in, tighten it down, and again, uh, with anything, especially wire this soft, you're going to want to make sure that it is finger tight and not over tightened. Uh, trim off your excess and fire it up. Let's see how this puppy works. So as we start to fire this up, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to break this down and um, I'm going to remove the cotton wick and I'm going to dry burn the ceramic coils and I'm going to bring it back to white. I'm going to clean it up for you guys, okay? So we'll just remove the cotton wicking here <clears throat> and we'll place the cotton, we'll just throw the cotton away. Okay, so I got the cotton all removed, got that trashed, um, got the well dried out as much as possible, and now I'm going to go ahead and start dry burning these, uh, these discs here to, to clean them up. Okay, so we fired it a couple times, and you'll start to see it clean up uh, quite a bit. The, the donuts will start to get orange. Uh, specifically here and here and 
firing it here for uh, quite some time, it's going to start to turn back white. Okay, and we're back to white. So let's go ahead and grab some cotton. Roll this up like so. I'm just going to stuff it in there. I'm going to use this flathead screwdriver to stuff it down in behind there. And you know, with cotton, you don't want to pack it in too tight. Um, you don't want to make it too loose. One thing I have noticed is you want to um, cover all of the surface area here so it doesn't burn or give you uh, kind of that red hot um, heat, that flavor that uh, is kind of unbearable. So I got that one packed down inside there. And we'll just do this next one. I'm going to slide that in and then start stuffing it. Just kind of making sure that we cover all the surface area there as much as we can. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's um, let's add some juice to it. We'll get it all saturated and we will start firing it again. We'll take another vape and see how this looks. Now that I've got it all saturated, um, let's, let's go ahead and fire this puppy up and break our wick in. Excellent. Okay, so we got this thing built and we've got it all juiced up it's ready to go uh, i got a fully charged sony 30 amp battery on here and um, i'm gonna check it out and see how this uh see how this rocks after cleaning it up re-wicking it and then uh, rejuicing it Nice vapor production. Like I said in the very beginning, it's not as hot as I like it, but um, it, it's it's still pretty good. And it reminds me of kind of a, like I was talking before, a pipe or a cigar, something that you sit down and enjoy. Um, not a quick uh, not a quick fix or, or giant cloud. So if you're cloud chaser, it's probably not going to be the item for you. Um, will it ever replace a micro coil or a well-built coil? I don't know, but one thing I can tell you is that it's super, super simple to, to use, as you saw, um, uh, to not only clean the coil itself, but then also to re-wick. A couple things that um, uh, I wasn't too hot on was the, the softness of the wire. Well, now that could be just a, uh, a material con uh, constriction. Um, the other side of it too was that the package came with no ohm range so i i kind of had to do a little bit of homework to figure it out i'd like to see the package labeled um, then as well if this in my opinion is ever going to be a real competitor in the market uh, we need to start looking at potentially bringing down the ohms somewhere around the 0.2 to 0.15 now that we have the 30 amp, 35 amp batteries out on the market um, the other thing that i noticed is that what i really wanted to do was I wanted to build it on the uh, the MVP, specifically on my Atomic. I felt like uh, with the ability to get it right in front of the air hole on that small space, pack it in with some cotton on a digital device, I felt like it would be an amazing vape. Unfortunately, and fortunately, one of the two, however you want to look at it, uh, we got a hold of the low resistant series, so evidently doing some research on the website, it found that uh, they're a little bit rare. So the next level, or the next run, excuse me, is going to be uh, above one ohm so that you can run them on a digital device. It would have maybe been nice to uh, to have both or a uh, an option to choose, but nonetheless, I think Fat Daddy Vapes has got a very good product here. I think he did a good job with uh, the research and development. It's a very great concept. Even though there's some work to do, I think it's definitely going to be a giant player in the market. So I thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, you guys be safe.